What's up, school fans? Welcome back to Trash Style. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today we have a very special guest from the women's national team, silver medalist, uh, head coach Sophia Lee. How are you doing, coach? Good after a silver medal for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, let me move this. <laughs> but congratulations. Um, first question, of course. There's no pro league for the women's team. How did you able to do this? <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't think too much. Uh, only one day at a time, right? So after the first game, like uh, once I got the, the uh, game schedule, I yeah. saw the first game win versus uh, Philippines. I was so exciting because uh, I I have a full confidence because of uh, like uh, for uh, it's a, it have have been like a uh, two months that we always prepare like a. Uh, Philippines, uh, their t uh, patterns, all things about their uh, like a signature move, so their all things. So, so I was so exciting, but uh, unfortunately we didn't play well at the first uh, match. So, but uh, I I I I know everybody like uh, a little bit upset and uh, like uh, no confidence, but uh, I I keep uh, trying to offer them the solution. We see. Uh, what have we done? What have uh, us done in, in the game? Then we how to fix it. So every single game we like uh, play with all our hearts and uh, try to like uh, do our best. Yeah, um, I'm very impressed with the girls because they probably haven't played in a very high level in probably like one year, and you guys did it, winning the silver medal. For you as a coach, as a coach, what was the biggest are the toughest challenge in getting these girls together? Uh, I mean, every day was a challenge <laughs> to me. Like, uh, no one game win, like, uh, feel 100% uh, we're gonna get it. Like, uh, but uh, I think the biggest challenge here is our girls' mentality. I went out. Yes, uh, why I say so? Because, uh, like, uh, for, like you said, like uh, for one, two years because of pandemic, uh, like uh, we shut down all the competitions, uh, and uh, for last uh, of November we had a chance to like uh, went to Jordan uh, participate uh, Division B. That's also an uh, experience for our girls. But uh, you know, most of the girls have a uh, uh, low competence level. So how to like encourage them? And I do believe in process. We work on for like a two or even like a longer, like a half a year. So what do we came, came here for? Like improve ourselves and we can make it. So I think the biggest challenge is uh, uh, tell them you need to believe in yourself and that you can make it impossible become I am possible. Yeah, and telling the girls against Thailand, you were done. 14 I think in the in the third quarter something like that and then you make a comeback in the fourth quarter what do you think happened in that fourth quarter I think the biggest uh, biggest uh, improvement was uh, the girls uh, overcome the mentality issue because uh, why I say so everybody we know we had the best of, uh, big man naturalized players uh, is Kim so everybody depends on her. Everybody want the, like uh, if she didn't play well, everybody a little bit panic because uh, he has a more like a uh, sk uh, individual skills and uh, everything. Uh, if she uh, have had a good performance, everything goes smooth. But if no, no one knows uh, how to deal with this situation. So. But uh, I'm so happy and so proud of the girls. Uh, even when uh, down for almost like a 14 points, then last quarter I always mention like uh, right now our I, I remind them like uh, please uh, play good defense because uh, if we didn't play good defense, so no one can beat them. So first one we adjust our 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 weakness. That I saw like uh, all small, especially Thailand players. Uh, they are really good uh, at uh, penetrate and the hit the three. Like uh, uh, they are so talent and uh, agility is pretty good. So when I remind them, they 
like 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 uh, they put their effort, uh, all their heart to play good defense. And that's uh, why we just uh, uh, what an uh, awesome comeback. So after Kim didn't play well, but uh, like a uh, lady, what an uh, amazing performance! And uh, I saw the. I saw the fire in her eyes and she, and also Tita. I mean, like a two point guards uh, was um, were key men at the, the fourth quarters. But lady, though, <laughs> talking about lady, that three point, that fake sidestep, three point shot in the corner. Man, when she launched that shot, <laughs> what went through your mind? She, I mean. During the other practices in Surabaya, we know, we know she, he's a, he's just like a diamond, like a hiding in the storm. So um, it may be like a, uh, all the fans only see the performance in the game, right? Because uh, everybody has a no chance of to see uh, when they practice, how hard they try, they sweat, sweating, they blooding, they get injury, they're but physically so painful, they just like uh, keep uh, like uh, fighting every day. But uh, when when lady hit the like a uh, three or like a uh, side step back yeah. or layup or yeah. do whatever she can shoot, she do. Only one thought uh, went through my mind, just like uh, I know she can. I do believe it. I do believe in her because uh, during the practice uh, she do. Everything, no matter defensively, offensively, uh, her vision, her ball handling, and uh, her 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 attitude, hustle work, everything just is so perfect. So that's why I know, I truly from my bottom of my heart, I I just believe that she can make it. And lady is still young. I think she's still like probably 21 or something like that. And. She's not afraid. She's not afraid of the big moment. She's willing to take the biggest shot of the ga- uh, in the game. What do you think? What do you think his uh, her potential and how can she get better in the future? Yes, uh, uh, everybody see sees her potential, right? But only herself didn't see it. So when I re- recruit her, yeah. I always re- uh, tell her like. Uh, Lady, you know, you can do it. I do believe in you. You just keep trying. Don't be afraid to make any mistakes. As a, especially she's a junior. And uh, so many seniors are like uh, support her. We support each other. But, uh, you know, sen- I mean, junior player always like afraid to like uh, make some mistakes or like, uh, you know, um, they just are shy, afraid. Oh, yeah, yep, shy. shy then. Yeah. So I keep encouraging her because I know our country need a more point guard. And uh, we only have a deep that, but it's not enough. For sure, it's uh, not enough. So every time when lady doesn't believe in herself, all the coaches keep encouraging her like, uh, hey, lady, if you really cannot do it or, or you get injury, you like uh, it's uh, your maximum, just let me know. I, I, I gonna let you like take a break or a rest or something. But if you can do it, we need you. Every time I always uh, tell her like, uh, I need you. I need you to do this, this, this. But she always follows. She always like uh, do her best. Even she after off the court, she always uh, privately like uh, talk her, talk to her uh, roommates. Uh, Oh, I'm so tired. I cannot move anymore. But on the court, she never show her weakness. What an amazing player! I do. She has a. She has all my respect. I know. I'm. I'm. I'm one of her fans as well. But we talk about now. We're gonna talk about Uni Angraini. Uni had. I think she just overcome an injury. And what did you do to her? She like she had like two double doubles, I think, in in the C game. So, what do you think about her performance? Definitely, uh, you 
uni has a more good experience compared with the lady, right? But the, like, uh, you know, a lady and the uni has a like a similar personality. They are humble. They are they have a good attitude, but just like a confidence level, just not that high. So, like, a, when you treat them, you need a, as a coach, you need a trigger there. Um, you, you need to, you need to keep digging. What's her possibility? What's her their potential? But then when you keep doing like this, uh, the the players are sometimes they don't believe in themselves. So you can see the first game. I get. I mean, when we play play with the Philippines, you you can see like all the players up. Uh, like uh, their performance is just not that good. But uh, a special uni. I know she's a responsible, hustle player. I keep encourage a uni. Say, uni, I need you. I need you because uh, if you uh, uh, have a, a good chemistry with Kim, I know you can play defense. You can also you can attack the rim. Then you can make a good pass and have a good partnership with Kim. No matter what, I I I keep uh, uh, encourage her. Right. So. She just played because she wanted. She, she because all the teammates and officials, uh, coaches, are believing her. So you know that's quarter. I mean, when we versus uh, Thailand, when we play with Thailand, then I say uh, last quarter. I need uh, everyone play good defense. Uni, are you okay? You need me substitute you. You just let me know. But I because uh, at that point, I think a Uni has a really. A good uh, condition, like a good energy, good vibe, yeah. like 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 that. But I know her knees are like not not really well, uh, well. So I say, Uni, are you okay? She always like it. Okay, okay. And even Kim, after first half, she came to me and say, Coach, I'm ready for play 20 minutes. Uh, just uh, just for this game. I'm ready. Don't think about I'm I'm exhausted or tired. I I'm I'm, I'm just ready for this team. You know what a beautiful teamwork wing 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 has done. Wing have done. So everybody sacrificed themselves because after uh, we after uh, we uh, we play with Thailand. You know actually, um, uni her knee is not uh, is unwell was unwell. So you know everybody pour over it. Their hearts just want to do something for this team. So I would say I do appreciate for the all the uh, officials and all the players because they try their best. So silver medal is not belong one person. It's about this team. And yeah, Uni had like 20 and 10 I think against Thailand. So I was very impressed with Uni. But talking about Kim. Kim, as we know, she she's she's the she gets buckets, <laughs> she gets buckets. Uh, but I want to know from the leadership point of view, though. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure she's a great leader, and she probably you know uh, give a lot of confidence to the other players as well. But what do you think about Kim on this team, though? Definitely, Kim uh, is a key point. Like, uh, she. She has a good, uh, like a physically. She's a strong, and uh, she jumps so hard. And, uh, she has a power, and uh, for mentally, she always uh, like so competitive. Uh, she want to play, uh, uh, do the best, uh, try her best, and uh, want to win gold medal for for sure for our country, right? But uh, right now, like uh, because of the, all our players uh, need to have a good chemistry, no matter no matter defensively, offensively. So it's a uh, one of the biggest things. Like uh, she, she is a equal, equal. Like uh, everybody knows, she's a best player, double team or something. How can we make a more like a, a off ball movement? Like like uh, our local players, we need a more off ball movement. And uh, Kim has a good vision and uh, to see like a. Uh, don't hold the ball too long because uh, she's a deep ball, right? If a double team comes, she can like always uh, find the best solution, see where's the wild but who uh, who has a best choice. I think uh, this is uh, the biggest problem uh, for the, our next uh, step. So yeah, uh, Kim, man, thank you, Kim, <laughs> for helping us. And of course, 
you got you guys have a lot of young players as well Karala Clarita Cheo I love the point guard Tudita I love everybody but what do you think about the young players though on your team and what do you see uh, forward for Indonesian women's national team so yes like you mentioned lady she she's a young Cheo also young yeah. so uh, even like uh, Angel her Thank age you. is just like similar like a uh, uh, Derek, right? Oh, okay. So I can see how bright the future we have. But the the first priority, Cheo, like uh, her her her, she has a uh, injury history. So we need to uh, make sure she uh, stay healthy. Then if she stay healthy, I I do believe that she she can have a much better performance. And also Angel, because uh, after Gabriel. We don't have a big man, yeah. so that's why we need a like a big man, like a, a Derek. A, after <laughs> she went, she he went to like a academy, then then he become a totally like a, a great players and uh, help uh, our men's team get got a gold medal. So that's why we need a more time to deal developing the younger players. Uh, yeah, there's a no short card for me. Like uh, every day, you needed to dedicate your practice, your training. Like uh, no matter physically, mentally, like uh, uh, if you put all your efforts uh, in, into basketball, into training, like uh, they will not treat you like uh, that. You, you you deserve it. But if you don't train, it, how come you expect uh, you have a good performance? So. Like, uh, to me, I'm going to encourage all younger players, so no matter you are 20, 16, 15, or like uh, 25, you still have a chance to like improve yourself. Every time dedicated for your training and uh, like uh, find, uh, find what's your strengths, what's your weakness, uh, just keep going, then I can see how bright the future we have. I know I'm very excited for the future of the women's uh, basketball in Indonesia. Hopefully they're gonna have a leak very soon. But talking about watching the men's national team, you were watching the men's national team. How much fun did you have cheering for our men's national team winning a gold medal? Yes, yeah, so uh, that was an incredible experience. Uh, like uh, this is uh, another history, right? Like a uh, men's team, the first time they got gold medal. That's a uh, really inspire all of our fans, all our country. Then the, uh, one thing I, I, I think um, it's time for Indonesia basketball to shine because uh, like a uh, Derek and like a uh, Monkeys, uh, like uh, two of them definitely they are key men of our pan area. Then also we can see like uh, they play they play good uh, teamwork. Uh, like uh, Jawado, she, she's amazing. He's amazing shooter number four. I I don't know. Grahita. Yes, Abraham. Like a two wings has yeah. an incredible like a shooting percentage. That's a really kill cool Philippine team. Also our point guard number seven. Yes, Prastawa. Yeah. Yes, uh, like a. Uh, when I saw them play, I, I know like everybody wants it. Everybody like uh, put the uh, Malun and the booty in their chest. And uh, when I sat down there and cheer uh, for our main team, that uh, you know that moment like a uh, gold can buy. You know, just like uh, everybody think a uh, gold medal like a uh, for the result. But uh, you know how tough a process they had been through. Yeah. You know, they sweating, like uh, work so hard and uh, sacrifice their time. They cannot spend time with the family. They uh, like a uh, physical pain, like uh, sometimes they, for, for example, when they went to Jordan, they didn't play really well, right? So some fans, uh, like a uh, yeah, net, netizen, like, uh, netizen. <laughs> yes, uh, attack them, right? Yeah. So. I know everybody won our team, our country has a good performance, but who gonna support them when they didn't perform, when they we didn't make our goal? Like no matter they play good or play bad, or like this is not in perform. As a fans, no matter what, we always here rooting for you. So when I sit down there and see they get gold medal, I know that's not easy. You just see like uh, the best moment, they get gold medal and the cheer, yeah. celebrate again and hugging, crying, yeah. something. 
why they cry? That's because uh, they know how hard they try. So I mean, all the coaches, all the officials, all the players are. Uh, they have all my respect, and uh, I I do appreciate all the uh, players, official, and the management and the federation. Like uh, they make this happen. Yeah, it's a it's a history for us. I'm we all very happy as a country as well. Now for the women's national team, what do you want to see them improve in the future? Uh, I think we don't really have any tournament because <laughs> by other than the 3x3 in Singapore. But I mean, you got time after this. You got time to prepare. You got time to train all the players again. What do you want to? What do you want to see them improving in? Uh, I think uh, we need to talk about uh, different parts, like uh, for individually, team, and uh, like uh, physically, mentality. For for nutrition, also important because uh, you know. Uh, when I first time I came here, the one problem is uh, Indonesia popular food is golden, always golden, right? Golden nasi, golden ayam, golden mee, blah, 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 always golden. That's re- rarely to, to, to see a vegetable or healthy food here. Okay. But as an athlete, as a professional athlete, you need, you need to realize uh, how to take a good care of your body. The most important thing, if you don't have a good nutrition, that's a impact a lot. But uh, this thing, I think uh, we need to improve it. But uh, I still work on it. Let's see what happens in the future. It's really hard to to like a uh, morning turn their 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 food if uh, like a uh, grab uh, easy to like a uh, nas goreng ayam or like uh, something, right? This is the first thing. So second thing, so. Mentality. I always mention like uh, uh, all, uh, at least when uh, when I come here, I interview with all the players. So like, uh, what's your strengths? What's your weakness? What's the most uh, skill you want to improve? So I talk one by one, like a uh, appointment with all the players. So most of the problem is a uh, low confidence. They don't believe in their in their self themselves. Even they are the best of the best in Indonesia, but they still like doubt themselves and uh, you know so many uh, things. So I realized one thing: as a player, if you don't have a confidence, how come you achieve achieve the 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 goal, your goal? How come you reach your goal? Even you don't believe in yourself. So mentality things always uh, the first priority. So nutrition, mentality, second, third one is uh, uh, in Indonesia because of pandemic, right? So uh, like um, the, all the competition shut down almost in two years. So they have no program like a consistency for training or something. So most of them like a training for one or one month or less for one month. I don't know. Or some of team like a uh, have a training for program longer. I, I'm not sure. But uh, you know how to make the training uh, camp uh, uh, like a keep a consistency like a don't. Uh, work uh, training for two months and then you stop. shut it up. Yeah, st- stop. Then two months later, then you restart again from zero. So that's the problem. So if the players can practice consistency, then they keep improve. I think uh, that's good for our basketball environment. Yeah, <laughs> food in Indonesia nutrition is always uh, is always overlooked. I feel like too. So hopefully they can fix uh, what they eat uh, in the future. But coach, uh, what's next for you though? For you, uh, are you gonna go back to Taiwan and then go back to Indonesia? I I I definitely miss my family a lot. So the best thing I think I gonna go back to Taiwan, spend time with my family. I miss them, and uh, also like uh, for 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 a while I need a. Like a vacation or like a refresh, refresh movement for myself, and after that maybe I gonna go back and uh, like uh, keep our training program. 
let's see in the future if we can we have another chance to uh, participate in SEA Games. Let's see like uh, if we can reach the goal like a men's team. That's a huge plus. Yeah, so you gotta enjoy yourself though. You've been working so hard. You, you've been here for like 10 months, I heard. So I feel, I feel that you probably gonna miss your family a lot. So hopefully, safe trip going back to Taiwan. Uh, enjoy yourself and then we're gonna be waiting for you back here and working with our women's national team. Once again, coach, congratulations. And thank you for taking the time uh, doing this interview. I know you're very busy. <laughs> so guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to keep supporting the women's national team. They're doing great things. They have a bright future and of course support coach Sophia Ling also. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys again on the next video. Peace. See you. <laughs>